Hello, this is Daryl from Roanoke Hobby. Uh, my ham radio call sign is Kilo India 4 Lima Lima Alpha, KI4LLA. And someone was, uh, the repeater was talking to me there on the radio. And uh, this is part two of the uh, review of the uh, Bofang BF F8HP. And we're going to go into the uh, keypad programming to uh, put in the repeaters on the radio. Um, you can get a programming cable and uh, you can get the software, uh, programming software, but for first time users and if it's just going to be uh, putting in a few repeaters, it's, it's really fairly easy just to put it in from the keypad and it actually ends up being about six steps. But um, when you get the, the radio brand new um, from the factory, um, there's a few steps you might want to go through to just prepare it to, to get ready to put your um, your repeaters in. Um, one thing is um, it does have several factory default frequencies in there. It's like 8, 9, 10 uh, different uh, frequencies already in there. So what I usually do when I, when I get a new one and I'm, I'm ready to program it, I go ahead and go into menu 40 and I do a reset and you just hit menu a couple more times and it will set the radio back to uh, the factory resets and that gets rid of those extra uh, frequencies from the factory. Um, you could also, if just one at a time, um, let's see, menu 24 maybe. Oops. There, okay, um, menu 28, sorry about that. You can delete individual channels. Um, so if there's like two or three, it maybe just delete one or the two or three that you need. So anyway, so that's one step to prepare. Um, if you do a factory reset, it's you'll wanna go into menu 14, and change the voice. I like to leave the voice off, but you can um, set it to English or Chinese. I think by default, when you do a reset, it's going to be uh, the voice mode is going to be Chinese. So uh, menu 14 to set that back where you want it to be. And then uh, menu 9 is your timeout timer. So you're probably going to want something more than 60 seconds. What happens is uh, the timeout timer will cut off your transmission at 60 seconds and so you might want something a little higher maybe like uh, three minutes or something like that so uh, you hit menu nine hit menu again to put it down here at the bottom where you can change the value with the arrow keys hit menu again to save that setting and the other thing you'll want to do to prepare is menu one Put the uh, frequency steps to five, and that is usually the best setting for putting in the frequencies from the keypad for uh, American uh, repeaters. And the last thing you want to do to prepare is menu seven, and the TDR is the dual monitor. You want the dual monitor to be set to off while you're programming it. And the dual monitor feature is when you can put something in, once you got it in memory, you can put one in bank A at the top and another in bank A in the B bottom. And every few seconds, it switches between the two to monitor, see if anybody's transmitting on uh, one of those two. So that's kind of handy if you have two favorite repeaters that you want to monitor. So anyway, all right, so now we've done the preparation steps. Now we're actually ready to do program it in. So we're going to put it into frequency mode, the VFO uh, memory button switches between, you can see the memory channels and then put it in the VFO mode. And the first thing you want to do is just put in the frequency from the keypad uh, for your repeater. So I'm going to punch in uh, 147.075 and that's going to be my um, receiving frequency. and most repeaters have um, a PL tone or a CTSS code. So that's going to be menu 12 or 13. 
13 is going to be CT, uh, the transmit CTCSS. We we'll hit menu, put it down here in the bottom, and then we can um, we can punch in the um, the frequency. This particular repeater is going to be 131.8. Hit menu again to store that. And now we need to do the uh, shift, the transmit shift, and the offset frequency. So the repeater is going to receive on re one. Um, your radio is going to receive on one frequency and is going to transmit on the other. So we're going to go to menu 25 and that's going to be your shift direction. So you hit menu, so it's down there at the bottom and you can scroll through. You can have the shift off if you're doing a simplex, but if you're doing a repeater, uh, you're going to go to repeaterbook.com or your local uh, radio club will have a listing of your local repeaters. It so happens this repeater I'm putting in has a, a plus shift. So, and you switch it, make it plus, hit menu one more time to save that setting. And then for uh, UHF and VHF, the f frequency offset are different. So this is a VHF. So we're gonna go uh, menu, 26 and it's going to be the offset frequency and like I said this is VHF what's on the display now is for UHF so we put it on the bottom and we start punching in the numbers and it's going to be 000600 zero, 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 zero. so it's that 0.6 it's going to be the uh, frequency offset for this VHF repeater okay and exit so we're almost done. So we put in our PL code, our CT, CSS, the shift direction, and the offset frequency. So now we're ready to store this into memory. And I think I've messed up a little bit my, uh, there we go. I hit an extra key there, so I was off a little bit on my frequency. All right, I got the right frequency. So now we're ready to store this into a channel. So we're going to go menu 27 and memory channel hit memory the menu one more time and if I hit the up button to go to the next open channel on the memory so it's going to be 10 and hit memory one more time okay now here's where it gets a little bit confusing and it's what I call the double entry um, for the programming so we've just programmed in the receive we need to program in the transmit so since we put the shift direction and the offset frequency already in, this button here, the um, star scan, if you hit it once, it puts it in reverse mode. So now that is the transmit frequency. So I've hit the, the reverse mode, the transmit frequency is showing. So I'm going to hit menu 27, which is what I'm at already. And we're just going to hit menu and menu again. Now it's stored, it's put the transmit frequency into memory um, in the same channel, so channel 10. So that is the extra tricky part, I think throws a lot of people off. It's just one little extra bit there to get the um, transmit frequency in. Um, it doesn't seem to be intuitive. It seems like, well, if I set the transmit, uh, the TX shift and the offset frequency, why didn't it automatically store that? but it doesn't on this particular model. I've seen other radios that do. I've seen some radios that actually have like an automatic repeater programming mode. It, it goes by the frequency that it's on and, and knows the direction and the offset frequency. Anyway, this radio does not have that. <laughs> That's why it's like, call it the double entry method. All right, so I'm gonna hit that button to go back, take it out of reverse mode. If I hit VFO and go to channel 10, there's my frequency and um, if I key up then you'll see it's going to it's going to switch to the transmit frequency when I key up KI4 LLA testing all right so it went back so we have successfully programmed in a repeater into the memory channel and it's ready for use um, and then you just repeat that procedure uh, for the two or three repeaters that you want to use so 
that kind of concludes the review of the BFF8 HP from Bofane Tech. Um, if the video is useful, uh, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and appreciate you stopping by.